Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com In today's video we are going to take a look to the uh, to one of the past tenses in Spanish in the indicative we are going to take a look at the pretérito imperfecto or imperfect past and this is a brief video with explanation on how to use it and how to conjugate it okay and we're gonna practice in the next video so yes take a look at this and try to learn it try to understand it and let's go for it ¿Qué es el pretérito imperfecto? What is the pretérito imperfecto? Imperfect past Well, it is a type of past tense and it is used to describe situations, people or um, things, as well as repetitive situations in the past. It also stresses this tension in time of an action, okay? So, the perfect past is used to describe situations, people and things. That's the first use. Second use describes the repetitive situations in the past, something that kept happening in the past, okay? Third use, it stresses the extension in time of an action. That means that something due, like something lasts a, a while in the past, okay? From this time to this time, it lasted a while. So let's take a look um, at the conjugation and just keep in mind that most of the verbs are regular in the imperfect past so let's take a look at the regular verbs and the conjugation you just have to learn my heart the endings and well let's go for it let's start with the AR verbs such as hablar to talk Yo hablaba, notice that the ending is, is highlighted in purple. Yo hablaba, tú hablabas, el ella hablaba, nosotros, nosotras hablábamos, vosotros, vosotras hablabais, ellos, ellas hablaban. Could be translated as used to talk, I used to talk, for example, okay? Yeah, that would be the best translation sometimes you just translate it into English as talked okay so hablar take a look at it take your time read it hablaba hablabas hablaba hablábamos hablabais hablaban great so now the e of verbs such as aprender, to learn, okay? Again, the, the ending, the ending uh, is highlighted in, in, in purple. So, aprender, to learn. Yo aprendía, tú aprendías, él, ella aprendía, nosotros, nosotras aprendíamos, vosotros, vosotras aprendíais, Ellos, ellas aprendían. Ok? Again, I used to learn. Or I learned. Aprendía. Aprendías. Aprendía. Aprendíamos. Aprendíais. Aprendían. Great. Let's go to with the IR verbs such as vivir, to live. Yo vivía, tú vivías, él, ella vivía, nosotros, nosotras vivíamos, vosotros, vosotras vivíais, ellos, ellas vivían. Ok, to live, I used to live, I lived. Vivía, vivíais, vivía, vivíamos, vivíais, vivía. Notice that it's practically the same as the ER. Yeah verbs okay so after these regular verbs we have to well maybe I'll give you any good news okay 
because there are only three regular verbs in the, in, pre, in the imperfect past, in pretérito imperfecto. So I guess that's a good that's a good thing. You only have three regular verbs to learn by heart. The rest are just like regular, so they are all the same as when you know one, you know you know them all, right? So let's take a look at these three regular verbs. Ser, to be, okay? To be. Yo era, tú eras, él, ella era, nosotros, nosotras éramos, vosotros, vosotras erais, ellos, ellas eran. Notice that actually the... the... The, the ending are not that different. The, the main thing that changes the steam of the verb. Okay, the ending is just almost the same. Era, eras, era. Éramos, erais, eran. So, I used to be with be, okay? I used to be it was. As a, um, I was the new kid in class. Yo era, el, yo era la niña nueva en clase. ¿Ok? Ir to go. Yo iba, tú ibas, él, ella iba, nosotros, nosotras íbamos, vosotros, vosotras ibais, ellos, ellas iban. ¿Ok? I went, or I used to go. Iba, ibas, iba. Íbamos, ibais, iban. Again, as in... I used to go to karate classes, okay? Yo iba a clases de karate, for example. And ver, to see. Sometimes to watch to ver to see. Yo veía, tú veías, él ella veía, nosotros nosotras veíamos, vosotros vosotras veíais, ellos ellas veían. Okay? I used to see. I saw. Yo veía, veías, veía, veíamos, veíais. Veía, as I, I used to watch, or I used to see that, that program on TV. Yo veía ese programa en la tele. Okay? So, well, this was all that there are six that, there, that you have to know about the imperfect past. Pretérito imperfecto. As you can see, it's not that hard. It's even simple than them the present so this was a short a really short uh, explanation but well we haven't done any no, we didn't do any we haven't done any any an example because next video is gonna be yes examples it's gonna be an auto quiz but well an auto quiz that actually serves as examples okay as practicing So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and nos vemos. Hasta luego.